If a customer is not satisfied with their purchase, they may come back to your store to return it. By default, returns are turned off for cashiers, but can be enabled by a manager or admin by updating the cashier role. To begin, find the original sale to return by going into Sales History and finding the sales record. Click on the Process Returns tab and refine your search by using the filters to help locate the sale. Once you've found the sale, click Return. If there is no customer associated with the sale, you have the option to add one. This is useful information to collect for your business and is mandatory if you wish to refund the customer using store credit. All the items from the original sale will appear as a negative amount at their original prices, including any discounts that may have been applied. Remove any items the customer does not wish to return, and then click the Return button. You can refund the items by any of your payment options listed. If you have an external payment terminal, you will need to process the return on that device before confirming it has been returned in Vend. Instead of a refund, you also have the option to issue the return on a store credit. This credit will appear on the customer's receipt as well as on their customer account. If a customer wishes to exchange the item for something else, start the return in the same way and then add the new item to the sale. If the value of the new item is higher, you can charge the customer the difference. If the value of the new item is less, simply refund the customer by choosing the payment type you wish to use to finish the return.